Good morning and welcome to our prayer service in honor of the class of 2020. As a Catholic school, it is fitting that we celebrate this special, unprecedented moment in our lives with prayer in the spirit of faith. While we wish we could all be gathered together this morning, we know that the Holy Spirit unites us in this unique celebration. The theme of today's prayer service is Shine Your Light. Each of us is created in God's image with individual talents and gifts, and we are called to share these with others. These past four years, the seniors have done just this within the CV community. It is the light of the class of 2020 that we celebrate this morning. Together, the seniors have navigated their way through the many challenges and accomplishments of high school. In four short years, the class of 2020 has turned this community into their second home. As they prepare to go forth into new horizons, may their spirit and light shine in service for others. Now, during this time of uncertainty, we are reminded of our light and the positive impact we can make when we shine together. When doubt or fear threatens to put out our spark, may we find comfort and strength in God's holy presence and master plan for our lives. Let our faith guide us far beyond our dreams to serve others, to reach out to the vulnerable, and to be a beacon of light to overcome any darkness we may encounter. Seniors, you should have received a worship aid for this morning's prayer service, along with a candle, which you will need to have a bit later on in our program. Thank you, Campus Ministry, and the many hands that work together to create this special prayer opportunity. And thank you, all of you, for being with us in prayer this morning. We are grateful for your support and for your presence in our lives. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for calling us in Christ to be salt for the earth and light for the world. Grant that this time of prayer and reflection might strengthen our desire to shine brightly in Jesus' name and to use the gifts we have been given to serve others in love. We make this prayer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. At our baptism, we received the light of Christ. Our parents promised to keep it burning brightly. Now, we will light the candles representing the class of 2020. We do so in honor of each one of our seniors as symbol of a light that burns brightly in each one. In doing this, we recall our baptism and the share it gives us in the life of Christ. Who is our light? As we nurture our life in Christ and use our gifts in service to others, we too become light for the world. Last one. 
Let us now listen to God's word as St. Paul tells us how to use the gifts that God has given us. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members of one another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, we praise you, Lord, for you have wonderfully made us. We praise, we praise you, Lord, for you have wonderfully made us. O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and know all of my ways. We, we praise, praise you, Lord, for you have wonderfully made us. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. Behind and before you encircle me and rest your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. We praise you, Lord, for you have wonderfully made us. You formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. This I know very well. We praise you, Lord, for you have wonderfully made us. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. We praise you, Lord, for you have wonderfully made us. This poem I wrote, New Horizons, is for the class of 2020. Though our goodbyes were cut short, our legacy lives on. Our story is imprinted within these pages. You will hear us in the laughter by the lockers. You will see us in the empty desks awaiting bright young students on the first day of school. You will remember us. For even after every low, we stand tall. We demand center stage. And when we take flight, we will look to new horizons, but we will always remember home. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Class of 2020, I miss laughing with you. Before I go into my wank at wisdom or whatever, I want you to know that I will always remember you as the class that was super funny and full of inside jokes. Being funny is a ministry too, you know. This was a heavy year in more ways than one, and our community could always count on you to find the joy in our everyday living. Your rallies were amazing. Your work on stage, in the arts, in leadership, and in sports was always full of spirit and grace. You've worked harder than anyone, and you worked as a team. But when you come visit me, and when you return for reunions, the first thing we are going to do is laugh like crazy, because y'all are hilarious. In fact, your way of seeing the funny side of things has been, for our community, a really beautiful way that you've shined your light for all of us. As the gospel message says, we all have our gifts. And as your teacher, I always knew walking into a classroom full of 2020 students that we were going to be laughing. With you, learning wasn't a chore we did to get through the day. With you, sometimes I'd find that as your teacher, time would fly by and the bell would ring before we knew it. Sharing time with you was a gift and a delight. No one can take those memories away from us, class of 2020. And when you return for visits and reunions, we will think on our good times. And frankly, we will probably laugh our heads off at this moment, me standing here alone, being filmed, trying to be serious, and you sitting in your sweatpants far, far away. One thing, however, I will never encourage you to do when you think back on this moment is to be grateful. Please never be grateful for this unnatural wrenching between us, this lonely distance between our friends. This may come as a shock for many of you who have had me as a teacher because you know I'm forever telling you to write in your journal gratitude lists, things to be grateful for. I tell you to write, I am so happy and grateful across the top of the page and then list things that make you happy and the things that will make you happy. You write wonderful things. You are so happy and grateful for your health, for your families, for your school, for your friends. You are so looking forward to getting into the right college for you, to finding your vocation, to traveling, to working hard and succeeding. You will succeed too, this is a fact I know, because you do work hard, and you are others-centered, and you are so full of energy and talent and love. But do not seek to be grateful for what has happened here with this wicked virus, this upheaval of our ordered and beautiful lives, this turning away from the fields of science as well as the gospel values that we all hold dear at Christian Brothers High School. No, brothers and sisters. Instead, I ask you to remember this ridiculous moment when we should have been together and instead are torn asunder. Your teacher's not even able to look you in the eyes right now and tell you how happy we are for you. How proud we are to have been your teachers. Brothers and sisters, remember this moment and laugh because in your roles as leaders serving in our communities, rebuilding our country, serving, you will have worked very hard to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. So let us pray. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Dear brothers and sisters of the great class of 2020, I'm speaking to you today because the God Squad sent me. I don't feel very wise up here all alone while you're probably watching me on your little cell phone. Before you put me away in your pocket, I have one thing to say. You are a blessing to this world. You are not here to play. You have gifts that come from God and it's up to you to shine. The light that's inside of you is so magnificent, so fine. It's been an honor to be any small part of your way. We will remember you always and look forward to the day when we will shake hands again in friendship. No hardship can sever. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.
I now invite the members of the class of 2020 to recite the following proclamation as a commitment to live as light. We believe in the greatness of our vocation to be salt and light for God's kingdom. We believe that God has called us into this world for a purpose, which we can discover through prayer, reflection, and in loving service to others. We believe in the gift of parents and family and in giving thanks for all they have done through happy and difficult times to bring us to this day. We believe in offering gratitude for all members of our Christian Brothers staff who have been given the wisdom, knowledge, and patience to guide us throughout our high school journey. We believe that we are called to a life of fullness and faith led by the gospel message, inspired by Christ-like values and virtues, and following in the footsteps of our founder, St. John Baptist de La Salle. We believe in the gift of community, of joyful living through play, laughter, support, and sharing in our school. We believe in practicing social justice as witnesses to God's kingdom, willingly using our individual gifts in service to those who are in need. Finally, we believe in God's plan for our lives, trusting that God loves us and will continue to bless us as we move on to the next stage of our life's journey. Jesus taught us that when we pray in his name, God our Father will answer us. The response to our petitions is, Lord, hear our prayer. For young people throughout the world, that their search for knowledge and truth through steady prayer and hard work will help bring about the truth and peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young people who cannot go to school because of poverty or war, for greater opportunities to learn in a safe and secure environment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the gifts of friendship and community we have found here at Christian Brothers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the acts of kindness shown to us during these past four years by our parents, our administration, teachers, program directors, counselors, coaches, our support staff, and all members of our school community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, we remember those who are sick and suffering and for those who have lost their lives during this time. We ask for protection for all first responders, doctors, nurses, and medical staff. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the class of 2020, that the next steps of our journey, even if unknown, be blessed with strength, peace, and hope for the future. May each of us continue to be the light of Christ for others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we remember the blessings of this school year and look forward to the next steps ahead, let us unite our prayers spoken and those in our hearts with the prayer of Jesus, using the words he gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. As we prepare to close, we would like to thank you for joining us from your home. At this time, we would ask that your senior please stand in a place where your family is able to encircle your senior. And then we ask family members to please place a hand either gently on the shoulder or the arm of your senior as our final blessing is prayed. Good and gracious God, we pray for our seniors today 
and lift them before you. We thank you so much for these that we love and for the work that you are continuing in their lives. They are a gift to us and to many others. And during this season of new beginnings, we ask that you would make their way clear. We ask that you would keep their footsteps firm and remind them that you are with them always. Through the presence of your spirit in their lives, may they be strengthened and instilled with hope for the new roads you have in store. We release them straight into your tender care because we know that's the best place they could ever be. We thank you in advance for all you have in store for this day, for this year, for their future. We pray for protection that you would surround their lives as with a shield. Protect their coming and going. We ask that you help them to live aware in a dark world and keep harm or evil intent far away. We ask that you would guard them in the safety of your powerful presence. Our world is certainly anxious, fearful, and uncertain. We pray our seniors are filled with your courage and strength, that they may be a light to their families, friends, and neighbors in this uncertain time. We ask that you would remind them every day how very much you love them, that they would find security and confidence fully in you, knowing that you are trustworthy and true. We ask for your wisdom and clear direction over their lives, that you would give them understanding beyond their years. Thank you that your timing is perfect. We pray that you would direct their steps, that your plans for them would prosper, that every place that you have determined for them to walk would be paved clear. We ask for you to open doors that need to be opened and close to everyone that should be shut tight. Allow every gift and treasure that you have placed inside their lives to grow, develop, and flourish to bring you glory. We ask that you would teach them your ways and fill them with an unquenchable desire to learn your word. Give them a compassionate spirit and the wisdom to look beyond outward appearances to the heart within. We pray that you would surround them with friends, mentors, and leaders who would challenge them to live full, good, and holy lives. We ask for your peace to cover them. We ask for laughter and joy to fill their days. We pray that you would give them boldness and courage to face challenges set before them with the confidence and peace that comes from your spirit. Inspire them to fill the world with light amidst darkness. We ask that you would raise up greatness in their lives, greatness in this generation, willing to stand strong and true, believing that you have designed them for purpose and good works, which you have planned and prepared in advance for them to do. Be a lamp for their feet and a light to their path. Shine over them. Fill them with your spirit. Bless them with your favor and peace. And we ask your holy blessing upon each one of these special seniors. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. John Baptist de la Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Mm -hmm. 